What are the top 10 features other DAWs don't have or that might uh, make you want to switch to Cubase? I'll show you based on my track created using only stock instruments and plugins. So one thing I really love about Cubase uh, is the speed I can move around the arrangement. So I can zoom it, I can scroll it, I can use the keyboard to do it. I can also use the zoom tool. It works really well. Double click and double click and shift F and zoom here. And I can also, you know, uh, take those guys and make a loop around it. And uh, if you have a native instrument keyboard like uh, the you know, complete control keyboard, you can also use the keyboard to navigate through arrangement like this or a standard keyboard with plus minus, uh, with shift or without shift. So it works wonderfully. Cubase is a beast and there are lots of windows, lots of uh, spaces, uh, lots of tools. And uh, to help you organize it, you can use workspaces. Uh, and look, if I'm recording tutorials in 16 by 9, I just use this layout. And if I'm doing some mastering work, uh, I just like to split my screen between the arrangement and uh, the meters. So it works wonderfully. And of course, those workspaces has its own shortcuts and you can set them differently if you like. Look at this. These are Cubase's meters, you know. No DAW has such an extensive audio metering tools on board. So, so this is absolute madness. Uh, uh, each tool can be enlarged, each tool can be exchanged. They come in different varieties and uh, it regards, you know, peak level meters, uh, loudness meters, uh, presets. Uh, you can also, you know, easily switch between them depending on what type of job you're doing. And I think that the customization level is, you know, just uh, just wild. I was using Wavelab Pro meters for many, many years, and I can, and I'm super happy that now they're all built in into uh, Cubase. So I think uh, they're even, you know, more uh, cust customizable than specialized plugins like Isotope Insight or other. So this is absolute madness. I love it. MIDI remote integration. This is super cool. The first stage is uh, mapping the physical interface of uh, your controller. So you just choose here, you know, different stuff. You can choose uh, joystick, trigger pad, button, fader. And if you choose fader, for instance, then you can, you know, resize it and uh, then you can map it to uh, whatever function you uh, need. And once you're done, then you go to this uh, mapping assistant and as you can see I mapped those paths to some uh, trigger uh, to some arranger triggers and I'll show you that now so it's almost like Ableton Live triggering and of course you can change the jump mode here if you need Another super cool feature is called Control Room. Actually, it is built in into the mixer and it allows you for creation of uh, different uh, mixes, cue mixes. Uh, so for instance, I can compare before and after the mix or use some reference tracks. I also use it uh, in my headphone mix so I can uh, plug uh, the VSX uh, studio emulation here. Slate VSX, great headphones with uh, this uh, wonderful emulation of studio uh, monitoring. And also if you're using uh, some kind of uh, metering or uh, sound ID, Sonarworks calibration, loudspeakers calibration, you can plug it here into the monitors and uh, you know it will not affect rendering of your track so that works just great Waze also has its own uh, voice uh, correction system which is called very audio it is an equ equivalent i would say of melodyne assistant so another 200 euro saved look it works uh, wonderfully here and also, if you've got Cubase Artist or Pro, you can use Scale Assistant to generate harmonies uh, in certain scale. Look, it's all here.
Cubase also lets you import MIDI files in the general MIDI format. So it automatically assigns, uh, you know, instruments from the general MIDI set from Halion Sonic built-in instrument, and it works really well. Just have a listen here. This is Alicia Keys, uh, If I Ain't Got You, or something like that. And it works great. Cubase not only allows you to convert polyphonic audio to MIDI, but it also recognizes chords based on audio. Let me show you this uh, audio piece. And now I create salt called chord track, and I just move this uh, audio here and chords are recognized. So now, when I play you the mix uh, and choose, you know, a MIDI instrument, uh, like for example this Halion Sonic, it will actually play those chords. It seems right. And uh, you can, you know, use it to recognize chords in whole arrangements. Another feature that sets apart Cubase from other DAW is uh, elegantly implemented offline processing. Uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, I've chosen this uh, clip for processing. And now I just press F7 to open this window and I can choose plugin I'd like to uh, implement here. So let me choose Decimart. As you can see, it has been processed. It sounds differently now. I also choose uh, another plugin here and maybe one more. So now when I put them in bypass mode, uh, you can see the, the waveform changes uh, and I can, you know, turn them on again. And if I want to edit it, I just have to move the fader. It has, it has been processed and now it's ready. And look, even in case of such long file like this one, it took only, a, you know, a fraction of a second. So it basically means that you can use uh, as many plugins, as many effects in your project as you like. It is especially useful in big post-production projects uh, or if you want to, you know, mangle some single samples with, uh, you know, tape saturation and, uh, you know, basically CPU heavy plugins. It works really well. And one more thing, uh, very cool new effect. So it actually lets you modulate uh, in a very complex way uh, your signals. I'm just processing my drums. So, well, Cubase Pro's version is certainly not the cheapest one, but it undoubtedly uh, is one of the best equipped. And here you have something uh, that, uh, you know, may work uh, as a substitute for plugins like Shaperbox or new Arturia plugin. It works as a riser, as a mangler. It lets you do pumping effects, uh, some complex panning. Uh, well, there's lots of things you can do with it. Really cool. So that's it. If you like it, please subscribe and uh, you know, if there's something else uh, your DAW has and Cubase doesn't, just leave a comment. Uh, I'm very curious. I'm constantly comparing with DAWs. Maybe I should switch. Just let me know.